In this session, we are going to talk about the number one topic, and this is artificial intelligence. Since we posted a few weeks ago our smart prompt video, tons of questions about AI. So today I will try to answer all the AI questions. This presentation was originally built for our Medi CRM, which is a healthcare CRM that we created. So just think that this is a general session and not only for our Medi CRM clients. If you are one of our silver, gold or diamond package, which those are all inclusive packages, just let us know what kind of automations you want. We'll do it for you. You're all inclusive. Otherwise, shoot the comments or contact us. We'll try to help you as much as we can. Before jumping into the video, I must tell you that data is everything for artificial intelligence. So if you didn't know, whenever you see any AI doing its amazing work, it's based on lots of data that the AI was pro processing and based on that, it was able to produce the result that you wanted. As an example, if I want my AI to fine tune my existing workflows, enough workflows need to run so my AI can learn my habits and the way that I'm working with workflows and therefore only then the AI can refine and suggest different ways to run my workflows. If I am running, for example, some AI on pictures, let's say I have a requisition form and this requisition form need to be embedded into the system and whenever I'm getting new requisition forms, the system will know if it's a picture of a car or a valid requisition form. In that case, the system need to learn enough requisition forms so it will know what is a requisition form. In the session, I'm going to show you different type of automations and different type of AI, but I do want you to understand that everything I'm going to show you is based on data. And without data, you cannot really make good use of those great automations. Let's start with predictions. Whenever you are working with Zia, which is the artificial intelligence of your CRM, you will see that you have an option to create predictions. Those predictions will allow you to identify which opportunities you are working on and have high chances of maturity, which means close one and which ones not. In order to create or configure Zia predictions, you will need to go to the settings, you click on prediction, you click on get started and you start to define it. Whenever you are using the predictions, you will see on the left side on the deals or opportunity modules, you will see the predictions and under it, you can see the prediction score. Based on the prediction score, you will know bottom line if the chances of the deal that you are working on, it's high or low chance to conversion. On the opportunities modules, you will have a new quality prediction score, which will be updated automatically by the system. And that will also appear in the prediction column if you choose to show it. Next, we are going to the macros and workflows. The macros and workflows will be set of automations that is being set in the system. Usually you're supposed to do it manually, but in this case, Zo can do it for you. Whenever we are dealing with macros, there is a way for the system to learn the way that you work with the system and the system will suggest different adjustments and optimization for the workflows and how to create new macros. In order to config and allow this automation to take place, you will go to the recommendation section and you will turn on the macro and the workflow suggestions. In some cases, you will need to switch them off and then switch them on and only then it will work. I had this case with a few clients in the past. Now, whenever you are working with the, the workflows, the system might suggest how to optimize some of the workflows. And of course, you will need to have enough workflows running in order for the system to produce those results for you. You can also have uh, some macros that are being suggested. For people that don't know, macros will be a set of functionality that allows you to send email, update fields and create tasks in the background, which is very, very cool automation. And you can also run it manually from the record that you are on. In this case, Zia, which is the artificial intelligence, will offer you those type of macros based on your usage. 
Next, we are jumping to the records assignment. The records assignments are usually done manually or it's being done using an assignment rule, which is round robin. When leads coming in, it will assign the leads to the correct person based on logic that we set in advance. In this case, Zia can do the assignment for you. So let's assume that someone wants to have a laser air removal as a service. Zoe will know which salesperson is the best fit to deal with laser air removal because he will have the most conversions and then Zia will suggest the correct person based on his availability and other factors, which is a very cool option. In order to define the assignment rules, you will need to go to the settings, assignment rules. You will need to click on the assignment rule and then you will need to give it some kind of a name. And on the bottom, you will need to select Zia suggested user. Now, you can do it only when your system will have at least 1000 leads in the last six months. As I said before, everything about artificial intelligence is data. Without data, the system cannot produce good results and therefore it's not even an option for people that don't have enough leads. For most of our clients, I don't see a problem because most of our clients will have more than 1000 leads in six months. Next is the competitor alert. In order to run it, you will need to have at least 20 users in your systems. Below that, you will not be able to activate the competitor alert. That's what I got from Zo support. I don't understand the logic behind it, but probably Zo will have some kind of a logic behind it. The idea here is that when you're getting some kind of a notification, such as an email, and the email will include your competitor's name, then it will produce an alert so you will know about it. Uh, the, the main reason around it is when you have uh, notifications that your competitors are involved in it, sometimes you want to notify more than one person in the process or management, just so you can learn more about the habits and what's going on with it. Next on the list is data enrichment. You will be shocked, but data enrichment enriches data. I know, shocking. Whenever you are going to a record such as a contact or account, you will be able to click on enrich data and that will pull information about the person. I found that about 90% of the time, the data that is being enriched is actually correct data. In order to config data enrichment, you will go to Zia, you will click on the data enrichment, you will click on get started. And whenever this is activated, you will have a button on the top of the lead or the contact with, and it will say data available. And you can see it also, it can be like the one on the right side that I show you the, the view enriched data or enriched data available. If you will click on it, it will show you the data that was able to be pulled based on the details in the system. Most of the time it will be the email of the person, company name and so on. And then if you save it, the data will be saved into the record. Next on the list is the best time to contact. There will be many cases that you will try to chase leads and clients and patients and they will not answer you. In this case, if you will config the best time to contact, which is under the settings, Zia communication best time to call, you will be able to activate it and then Zia will tell you when is the best time to contact those people. There are lots of assumptions about this suggestion, but from what we understand, Zia can suggest the best time to contact a prospect or a lead based on the action performed by the customer and the rep in response to an email or call from the customer. So there are some ways that Zia is able to do it I use it for the last year or so. Most of the time it will do its work and it's pretty good. Next, we are jumping to vision, which is an image validation. There will be some cases that you will need to upload pictures into the CRM. In this case, the CRM can learn what the picture that you are trying to upload means. And therefore, based on that, it will tell you if the picture that you uploaded is the correct picture or not. As an example, let's assume that I am defining a car. Whenever I will upload the car picture, the system will tell me that this is the correct one. This is a picture of a car. 
whenever I will load a bicycle, it will tell me that what I'm uploading is not the correct picture. That can be used for acquisition forms, that can be used for x-ray, and it can be used for many, many things. Experiment with it, it's pretty much it's awesome. Next on the list is ChatGPT, which is a smart prompt. There is a full video that I created around smart prompt. Basically, it's a way for you to integrate ChatGPT into the system. So you will need to create the integration with ChatGPT using Zia, which is Zia Smart Prompt. You will put your API key, which on the bottom you can see how to find your secret key. You click on that, it will show you. You paste the key there, and then whenever you are going to create email templates, answer emails, work on the CRM, you will be able to ask ChatGPT to help you, which that's my, what most people are doing anyway, but this time you can do it directly from the CRM. Next on the list is the ABR text messages. There will be lots of text message solutions out there. The problem with those text solutions is that you will need to have a phone number for each person in the company, and that's becoming expensive. In our case, we created a text message solution that whenever your client is responding to you, the system will identify who is the person from your company that's supposed to get notified. So instead of notifying 20 people in your organization, we are identifying the correct person that should be uh, addressed and he is the one that receiving the chat message uh, directly to his click and then he can obviously respond to this message and continue the conversation. The ABR client relations is another AI that is making sure that you are all the time keeping in contact with your clients. So account managers can keep in relationship with their clients whenever you will call the people from this list a call or send a text message or a WhatsApp message or schedule a meeting or send an email, those people will automatically be gone from the list and then this list will always supposed to be empty and that means that you are doing a great job and you are making sure that you are connecting with your clients and prospects all the time. The ABR follow-ups will be the last one for this video. The ABR follow-ups, it's a system that we created that's supposed to eliminate tasks and any other way that you work on your to-dos. Bottom line, in this case, I can see all my leads. When I see all my leads, I can see on the right side all the leads that responded to me and when I need to take care of them. As an example, the first row, you will see that an email was received from a person and that's part of my CRM. So I don't really need to check my email. I just check, that, check this record. When I click on it, I can see the email that was received from this person and I can respond. The same way we have those kind of integrations with Twitter, with Facebook, emails, text messages, and different options. So bottom line, your team can work only with one view that shows everything that they're supposed to do today versus going to tasks, to going to different records, and it's becoming extremely difficult to maintain the system. So that was the most important Zia options and automations that I can show you. I think those can really help you streamline your business and it's also very cool to operate. If you have any kind of suggestions, questions, anything that you want to know about automations, I'm your guy. Let me know. We'll try to help you as much as I can. If you like the session, thumbs up is always appreciated. Thank you very much. We'll see you in the next session.